hello friends so today i'm going to be showing y'all what i've been loving recently this is very weird because i haven't done a sit down video in a very long time this isn't like the cutest setup in the world but this is one of my favorite places in my apartment and one of the places i spend the most time i just thought it was fitting to be in my favorite place for my favorite things i guess we should get started i personally love watching these videos i feel like this is very not my vibe for my channel anymore because i've been doing a lot more just chill vlogs random things that aren't like put together at all and I'm not saying that this is gonna be put together because this is kind of weird because I haven't just like sat down and talked to the camera about specific things in a very long time. I mean it's been a minute since I filmed as it always is every time that I film because I literally am never consistent but it's fine. So just bear with me if I'm a little awkward in this video. It's because I feel like this is just not who I am anymore but I still want to share with you all the things that I've been loving and using and listening to and reading and things like that every single day so then maybe I'll combine something that you will love. I'm just gonna go ahead and get started because I feel like this intro is like really drawn out and really awkward. <laughs> First thing we're gonna talk about because you might see it a few times in this video is my phone case slash my new phone. If you've been here for a minute you remember my old phone i also had a pillowcase on it but it was a iphone 6s so i really really gone up in the world and no i did not get this sustainably sadly but i needed a new phone anyway because it was like losing service and like perfectly service areas which is beautiful and i just love my screensaver it's so sweet but really my favorite is my phone case i really love it it's my pila and if you don't know what pila is it's a compostable phone case brand they make phone cases they make basically anything you need a case for i feel like they have a case for it's like super bendy you wouldn't think that this is protective but like never cracked my phone love this thing and this is literally like the best invention ever i love it it's like basically a pop socket but way more intriguing to everyone and way cuter and way cooler because this never pops off i literally carry my phone like this like all the time if i did that with my pop sock it would pop off when i used to have one the sticky rubbed off this sticky is like stuck i literally carry it like this you can set it up like that it's just nice to have something that's more secure my fingers always up in this thing <laughs> That's my first favorite because it's been my most used, my most loved. This is very unlike me to get something that like is not neutral. Literally everything that I own that I need to have in multiple situations is always black. I branched out because I'm gonna be going into my junior year of college and you know, I wanted to make some changes in my life. I have this, but I also used to have my keys on my college lanyard. You know, like the stereotypical freshman look, which is fine. It was convenient. I wanted an upgrade and I also needed protection. I got a carabiner because I just wanted to clip my keys onto something. Then I'm wearing my overalls. Phone here keys on my waist or in like a belt loop it's very easy i got the carabiner in black but then i forgot this was still in here i have had pepper spray ever and i think it's just fine and now i feel like a lot safer with this i always have my keys on me now like on my waist i just clip it on my pants so i can always easily just whip it out always make sure you test your pepper spray i feel like a lot of people don't this is the sabre brand but i love it because we're coordinating gal now i'm talking about this for way too long but ali used to be a blush pink gal now she is a cute little lilac lavender girl would you consider this lilac or lavender let me know down below those are my two big upgrades going into junior year and I'm really excited about it. GT's kombucha, always on my favorites. Now I guess we'll continue with like random little things. Stasher bags. I have a newfound love for stasher bags. I have more than this. I have three of the sandwich ones and three of the snack ones and then I have a half gallon and then two like stand-up medium-sized ones. I've had the half gallon and then the stand-up ones for a long time. The only reason I got those was because there was no other bag brand that had those shapes so that's why I got them because I had had like really cheap Amazon ones that were like this kind but obviously not this nice. I really don't know where they went but all my beeswax wraps have like lost their stickiness so stasher bags had this sale in like may i got two of these and then two of these because at first i was like oh i'll just use them to take things to like work to school whatever because my beeswax things are no longer working i've started just using these instead for like storing whether it's half of an apple half of an avocado a cucumber you know things that i cut and then i put half of it away these keep it so so fresh i'll have like half an avocado in there for like three four days it's obviously in the fridge but you like squeeze all the air out it stays good for days and things that i keep on the camera i keep put in here whenever it was prime day a few weeks ago they had stasher bags on sale so then i got another one of these and another one of these now i have three of each i love 
my stasher bags and they are completely worth the money i recommend to just look out for sale these are gonna last like years and years because this is such a more durable clasp than the cheaper reusable ziploc bags i will never go back and i recommend them to everyone i'm like they're literally so worth the money i will never buy those beeswax wraps again because they will eventually run out of stickiness and these don't run out of stickiness you just close them up they're freezer safe microwave safe they're all the things safe i love those things it's not sponsored at all i literally just love stasher bags so much a few of these favorites are gonna be sustainable because i'm trying to live a more sustainable lifestyle so obviously they're gonna fall under the more sustainable category i guess that's gonna kind of lead us into food my first food thing is verb energy bars it took me a very long time to get into the hype of this because i just thought it was like an overly sponsored product the only thing that i will say about verb i wish you could just like get a starter pack of like one of each flavor so you can try it because it sucks to have to buy 12 bars and then what if you don't like it my mom got this like snack box subscription thing for work that i got to use and i just tried all the verb energy bars because they did have like the singles on there there were only like four or five different flavors but it was good because one of them that i thought i would have really liked and probably would have bought a whole bag of and then not been a fan of was cinnamon roll and i just thought it was way too sweet i'm not like a big sweet person when i'm looking for a granola bar situation even though that's not technically what this is supposed to be these are something that i eat every day these are what get me through night shift i go into work at six i normally eat one of these around like 10 p.m because that's whenever i start to get a little hungry but then i also need a little energy to get me through that one two o'clock slump but these have 60 milligrams of caffeine but it's from a green tea so it doesn't make you shaky this is what they call their starter pack and it's one with five chocolate chip banana bread five minute latte five cookie butter and then i bought this one in addition to it because i just knew i would like this the chocolate peanut butter cup because i've had the salted peanut butter one and that is one of my favorites which i wish came in here i'd say my number one flavor is chocolate chip banana bread then it would probably be salted peanut butter the chocolate peanut butter cup is third there's vanilla latte which is like pretty plain like whenever you open it it smells like coffee there's not even coffee in here so i don't really it just says natural flavors i mean this is a good plain one i wouldn't buy a whole bag of these whenever i go through these which it will take me a while because i don't work that much but i might need these to get through whenever i work like day shift it's just a little boost of energy and it's like a very small snack so you'll still be able to eat whatever meal you need to in however many hours and cookie butter is the other one in here and it's like pretty sweet i probably wouldn't repurchase cookie butter either excuse me definitely recommend herb energy bars if you work night shift continuing on with food milkadamia i love this so much i wish that they made a refrigerated version like where it came like in a bigger one if i were to make a matcha purely out of this milk this would give me like four the reason that i got turned on to this was because i went to a coffee shop i might have said this in my last vlog i'm not sure and they only had oat and milkadamia and i was like I don't like oat in my matchas because I just feel like it's too overpowering. I thought milk and amy was going to be the same way and they were like, no, I think it's like a creamier version of almond milk. I definitely did say this, but maybe you're new and you haven't seen my other video. And if you haven't, I'll link it above. And I was like, oh yeah, sold. And then I fell in love with it and it has like a slight marshmallowy, vanilla-y like hinted taste, even though this is unsweetened. That's just the taste of the nut we love that i've loved this a lot in my matchas and this is what i get at coffee shops now when i get a matcha when i make my matchas at home i used to solely make it with this in the beginning but now i've started doing like this mixed with almond milk because it's not as expensive and also it makes it more of a realistic matcha but then when i go to my coffee shops i'll get full-on milk with amy definitely recommend trying it if you have not yet now moving on to like beauty which like not really beauty just kind of like normal life stuff you're like huh what is this little tin it's like a little reused matcha tin but basically what these are they are huppy toothpaste tablets i get these from my local zero a shop but i think they probably have them online in like a compostable packaging or something huppy is like my favorite brand of toothpaste tablets now now i will say it's a little expensive it was 20 dollars to fill up this tin i don't really know how many i should have counted that's gonna last me a while because i only use toothpaste tablets in the morning and i use my sustainable aluminum packaged toothpaste at night but i really love these and i wanted to mention them because i don't think that i've mentioned them before these are really nice and then also the last time i went to get my refills i got a bamboo toothbrush finally the only reason that i had never gotten one of these before was because i have been to the dentist my whole life and i go every six months and they always give me a new toothbrush and i'm not gonna lie i never switch my toothbrush out every six months so i had a little stash built up and now that i haven't been to the dentist in two years which is really bad obviously i know what can you do i finally ran out of toothbrushes my last one was getting on its last leg and since i was already at the zero shop 
I was like, might as well. I get the brush with bamboo one. I think they're the original bamboo toothbrush brand, so that's why I wanted to purchase from them because I hate whenever companies like just copy original brands. Why can't we just give them credit? I don't know if this is like fully compostable. I know obviously the wood is, you can just like bury the wood. I've seen where people will use this and like label their vegetables with it in their garden, which I think is the cutest thing. The bristles are biodegradable, but cannot legally be classified as compostable. Our bio-based bristles will eventually turn to soil, but the timeline for breakdown would depend on the soil activity, ocean activity. Switching to this, I was thinking nothing of it. I would have never thought there would have been a learning curve to a toothbrush, but honestly there is. As with every zero waste swap that you will ever make. Because it's not traditional plastic, it's obviously like a lot harder than plastic. It's just a lot rougher. The first few times I definitely did like stab the back of my mouth with this, but now that I've gotten the hang of it, like it's fine. I don't know if it's because my toothbrush was so old, so it wasn't like at its best performance, but I think that this brushes my teeth better than like any toothbrush I have. I think my teeth are getting cleaner from this. That's all I'm gonna say. The last thing in the beauty category. I was gonna not put this in here, but I was like, honestly, this is what I've been using for like the last probably like four or five months and this is the catrice volumizing lip booster and some bear over the rainbow every time i go out of the house i put this on my mouth <laughs> it makes your lips look so juicy i just love it yeah they still do have it amazing no this isn't a sustainable brand i've had this for probably like two years when i bought it i didn't think anything of it i don't even know why i bought it but i have this much left and i will be repurchasing it even though it's not sustainable it's that good so if y'all want a good gloss that's gonna make your lips look so juicy i would highly recommend it it's what's on my lips right now but it's like chill she can be a lot glossier than this but i don't like to go overboard you know what i'm saying now we're gonna get into like entertainment favorites so what i've been reading recently is redeeming love i'm like over halfway done with the book i have already read this once and i've seen the movie and i loved it so much and i really don't know if i want to say this on youtube but right after i got out of a certain dating thing i just really wanted to read this again to remind myself of what like a god driven love story looks like and what a freaking godly man looks like and literally jesus in a man i would recommend literally everyone reading this it just shows you how good the lord is and like how we need to be to other people because of what the lord has done for us if you have not heard of this book i definitely recommend you looking it up getting a copy borrowing it from your friend whatever you gotta do i a thousand percent recommend you read this before you watch the movie though because the movie is like a sliver of this book there are parts in this book that really impacted me that weren't even in the movie and then the movie is kind of nice to just put like a tiny visual towards it the book is so 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 good so now i'm gonna get into other things this is just like a little concept that i have thought of and i definitely recommend also everyone does this i just recently cleaned out my car last week for the first time ever in my entire life that sounds horrible i've never like deep cleaned the inside of my car it was like five years of stuff in there and i was like looking up car air fresheners that were like more natural and i was like i have all these candles with this little sliver of wax on the bottom that is not getting used and it's hot outside i set it on the dash of my car like when i'm not in there and it melts and when I get in there, my car smells like the candle. It's chef's kiss. Sorry, that was like a little sidetrack. But going back to entertainment, music. My friend Carly has turned me on to Noah Kahan. This man is a literal artist with his words. I am unwell every time I hear his music. That's pretty much it. I highly recommend him. Literally just put him on shuffle. Stick Season is like the most recent release and it's so good. I'm just gonna list some of my favorites so that we can narrow down what you need to listen to. We have Young Blood, Fine, Tough, Hold It Down, Animal, Come Down, Bad Luck, Mess, Crazier Things, Caves, Someone Like You, Pride, and Godlike. Those are some of my faves. But that's all I can say is Chef's Kiss to freaking No Gone and his beautiful music. And also Top Gun Maverick. If you haven't seen that yet, excuse me excuse me you have to see it i don't know how anyone has not seen that at this point but if you have not you have to watch it oh my gosh it's so good that i literally cannot another thing going along with that is i just started watching virgin river just started watching as in less than a week ago started watching it and i'm now on season three but there's only 10 episodes in each season so i've only technically watched like 21 episodes so it's not like horrible <laughs> i finished watching reba and then i started watching that because i need something else to watch and it's so freaking good i literally cannot it's like hallmark meets mystery intensity sensual romance <laughs> yeah 
Also, another entertainment thing is War Room. I had never seen that movie in my entire life, and I saw that at the beginning of the summer, and it literally changed my life. I'm not even exaggerating. So I highly recommend you watch that movie. It's really like encouraged me to do different things with my prayer life. So also recommend you watch that. I also have just been having really good times with the Lord in the morning because this last week I had completely off, as in like no camps, no work, no nothing. Like I just saw people. So that was really nice because I was actually able to like have a quality time with the Lord in the morning. I'm really hoping and praying that that continues into my life right now and then my life going into school because now I kind of know like how long I take in the morning. I have a few things that I've learned. I really just want to share them with y'all. So I don't know if I'm going to share that in a vlog or if I'm going to do like another sit down video where I talk about things that the Lord has been teaching me. Let me know if that's something that you would want to see. And my battery is dying, so I need to hurry up and end this. Let me know some of the things that you've been loving down below, especially if they're sustainable, especially if they're like a TV show or music or all the good things. Let me know. But I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. And if you did, I would love if you subscribed down below and please give this video a big thumbs up. It would mean so much to me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.